Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. War number 4, season 41. We're taking on New Nation, one of the best alliances in the game. Shout out to my buddy Infamous over there in New Nation. Team today going to be Carl, Carl, Ibom, and Nimrod. Uh, only going to be using Carl and Nimrod today. Ibom, of course, just for the poison synergy. Going to be starting out on Path 9. I was a bit rushed at the first part of this war because I was very late to attack phase after the plan came out. And people were waiting on me, so I used the APB here uh, just to make this fight go a little bit faster. So this is hazard shift, so we're going to be parrying only during the incinerate phase, building up those protocol charges, which is super easy against Toad. Uh, and then as soon as we switch into the poison phase, I'm going to switch to blitz protocol. It already happened, so I guess I don't need to do that. Build up to that special two, and then the special two ends up killing him. So I did use like a power back boost here, uh, <laughs> a wasted boost for sure, which is going to be a theme throughout this war as you'll see in later fights all right next up we have a long shot on node 18 gonna go in here with Carl in magma form so the danger here with using magma form is long shot special one because of those instant bleeds we're not gonna have the bleed immunity in magma form so what you're gonna see me do here is rather than goof off with the sp1 dexes which I am very comfortable doing by the way I'm just going to block them and again this is because I was kind of rushed here and I wanted to get through these fights as quickly and as efficiently as possible uh, especially when you're when you have long shot against the wall if you finish a combo and dex back he can absolutely catch you on the dash back with those special ones so I just made the decision at the start of the fight you know I am going to block all of these special attacks uh, there we go special two almost kills him and then I think he launches a heavy here and we are able to finish him off with one more combo so you know a pretty safe fight with Carl as all these hazard shift fights are really moving on we have a scorpion on node 21 gonna go in here with Carl again in magma form uh, I went into this fight assuming that I was going to get evaded at least once, probably twice. Scorpion Sense, one of the most irritating defensive abilities in the game. Very difficult, even under ideal circumstances, to get 20 hits off in the allotted time. So we use an APB there, we're going to fire off this special too. We only get 18 hits off and now Scorpion Sense has triggered. So I'm thinking to myself, what is the safest way I can force him to evade? I try a medium light and I'm like, that's going to take too long. So then I parry heavy. He evades the second hit of the heavy right into the special one, which is perfect. Uh, even if we block part of that special one, we have the poison immunity. So we are we are free of sting debuffs here, pushing him to the special two when we can, because it's much easier to dex. Uh, and then one more special two, I think, is going to finish him off here. And we have a decent amount of time before Scorpion Sense comes back here. So baiting out one more special two here, I think he is being... A little bit, uh, a little bit too passive here. Now, Scorpion Sense has triggered a second time, so I'm going to parry and then go right in. Oh, yeah. I, what I should have done was parry right into the special two. Uh, luckily, I didn't get punished by that evade there. But you can see just how, just how annoying Scorpion is defensively. I, I probably don't need to tell you this if you're watching. Uh, moving on, we have a Havoc up on Node 33. This is on Path 7 in Section 2. Just going to go in here with Nimrod. I didn't use any uh, extra boosts, I think, this time here. Uh, so, again, not much going on here. Havoc doesn't really work with the with the node combinations at all here. There's nothing for him to shrug off, not that he could anyways. Just a, a standard uh, Nimrod fight here. Going to load up uh, Extinction Mode with the SP1 to give the Energy Vulnerability passive. That's going to make our shocks do what is essentially normal damage against Havoc since he has massive amounts of energy resistance. Going to fire off this special 2 and punish that. And then from here we really just need to be sure to keep those armor ups uh, active on ourselves. So continue to parry, continue to remove his prowess in Blitz Mode or Extinction Mode. Uh, and as long as we keep those armor ups, we really have no no danger in this fight. Um, and, you know, of course, it is possible for Nimrod to take a plasma detonate, but he would have to take probably two, maybe even three in this fight uh, to die because I, w I was boosted up and everything. So I think one more special two uh, <clears throat> ends up killing him or close to it here. Uh, we hit it right into his block because we had extinction mode ready. Okay, a couple hits after the special two. And he still won't die. <laughs> there we go. One more hit after the parry and down he goes. Okay, next up we have a Kate Bishop on node 43. This is a very good placement here. So because of the nodes, she has protection and you need to knock her down to remove it. However, you can't parry and, and knock her down with a heavy because she will automatically evade. So I'm going to use an APB there. I just wanted to get my refined form up as quickly as possible because I figured damage would be kind of at a premium for several points in this fight here. 
What I should be doing, and it takes me a little bit longer to get into this fight before realizing it, is that I should be heavy countering her heavy. Uh, and it, you know, I, I was not comfortable with the spacing, but I realized that the fight was taking so long, I was going to have to risk it. Uh, so I, I, this fight is, is a bit messy. Um, I think if I take it again, it's going to be a little bit more simple for me. Uh, right here, she's being a little too passive here, which is messing me up. It's causing my form to expire. It's also causing protection to come back. Uh, and there, I hit her on the dash back, and she triggers the evade, which I don't think is supposed to happen, because she definitely wasn't parry stunned there. Not sure if that's a bug or not. Um, so yeah, we're sticking to the SP1s here. Again, without the safety of Magma Form, we cannot push her to the Special 2, because if we happen to block or get hit by the SP2 arrow, the Cold Snap damage is going to almost guarantee uh, us taking a death here. So just trying to spam SP1s, baiting out her Special 1 as much as I can. Uh, the damage is, is ramping up a bit more now. There we go. I finally get the Heavy Counter. Uh, and knock her down only to take a heavy <laughs> heavy to the face myself here um, Yeah, so again if, if I had to take this fight in the future um, I'll definitely practice the spacing more ahead of time on the heavy counter because I think earlier in the fight You may have missed it. I tried to heavy counter her heavy and I completely whiffed and the only thing that saved me was my unblockable special one there so uh, Fight is almost over you can see I, I did speed this up because it's taking quite a while almost uh, two and a half minutes over two and a half minutes rather so but we get it done Last fight of the war for me is a node 49 Terax an easy easy Carl fight I waste another boost here with the invulnerability boost no idea why I decided to do that um, So yeah plan here is really just to continue to light intercept him uh, you know, if, if he's playing passive, we can bait out heavies to give him flourish buffs uh, and hopefully keep him in the rock field for the entire fight. Uh, he is extremely cooperative with the light intercepts here, so we are easily building up to that special two here. And then this does an absolute crap ton of damage with all the vulnerabilities and the incinerates. Uh, we have almost gone through the whole fight. We did. I think we got through the whole fight without him leaving rock form, so that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, we did not come away with the win today. Six kills, zero deaths. Our record falls to two and two. Shout out once again to New Nation, one of the best alliances in the game, season after season. Folks, if you enjoyed this, let me know by hitting the like button. As always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.